Hello everyone, so what you can see right now is Runlink Limon Ultimate in VR starting with the full grid hovering around 75 frames per second in the starting sequence in Spa running pretty stable um, I actually optimized a few settings the last days uh, to make sure that I am hitting that target so I can actually run in rainy conditions then also in 72 hertz if I want to have it really fluent uh, for now I think it's fully fine if in the beginning of the race I have here there a perceived smaller stutter but as you can see it runs pretty well with the settings I have now and uh, if you want to know how I can actually have achieved that uh, stay tuned uh, follow the guide and check out my settings uh, in game and also um, settings that I made to the Jason uh, which are also formerly known from our factor 2 so stay tuned Watch the video if you want to get similar experience. Still there. Still there. So first of all, before you can run Limo Ultimate in VR, you have to download Open Composite if you want to use OpenXR. If you're using natively Steam, Steam VR. It uh, works out of the box. Um, I'm using virtual desktop and um, I would like to use OpenXR. So therefore we have to download Open Composite from the official website, scroll down and then download the system wide installation where you then at the end of the day can actively activate or deactivate OpenXR for certain applications. So click on the launcher, it will download the tool. As you can see here right now, you can open the file, you can take that folder, drag and drop it to your desktop as I have done it here open it and then run the exa what you can see now is the runtime switcher where you can actively switch to open composite open xr to at the end of the day run these cbr applications through open xr that's it for the open composite part so checking now the settings uh, that we made in the uh, json file it's a little bit more technical so i will just give you a quick uh, intro how to get there so somewhere you've installed your steam library i did this now into my h drive uh, you go to steam library steam apps uh, common Lima Ultimate uh, user data player and there is a file that is called settings. You can open this by right click open with and then you can choose the editor which is your preferred uh, selection you should make. And now what's happening it opens uh, this setup and what you can do is you can click control F or searching uh, which you would feel see here and then you can search by the parameter for instance rear um, I can show you how it looks like and then it searches for you in your document so going now back to the screen and we are pretty pretty good here already um, we have now here several settings that you can set up in the JSON, but not in the menu itself, right? So that's the reason uh, 
you can only open this via the, the menu. So what we do here is we set a back clip to 100. Uh, I guess that's meters. Uh, so that determine how far you can look in the mirror. And then the second thing that I found distracting was uh, the mirror that you see um, in the cockpit. So um, you have already a few mirrors, like the real back mirror, the real side mirrors. And then on top, you also see the virtual mirror. So, and um, I actually have set it to false so that you just see the real mirrors that you have in the cockpit because this is uh, more immersive. That's it for the settings, Jason. Now let's look into the game itself. So let's check out our in-game graphics settings. I go to my graphics. Um, you see my FPS counter is showing 80 frames per second. This is my Hertz of the uh, VR glasses. Um, what I have identified, if you set the window mode uh, to window instead of full screen, you actually just have 60 frames, so you get a stutter also in the menu. You have to set it to full screen. Then the FPS counter is showing the right value, so it shows you the birds of your VR glass. I actually identified it later, even if deactivated VSync. I'm not quite sure if this is in other games, but I actually have found out that fooling this, setting that to full screen um, fixes that. Um, Post-processing, we are set to high. Um, MSAA to 4X. I have de deactivated FXAA. I found out it's far more sharp, the picture, when we set that to off, uh, which I really like. Um, going down onto the settings, um, most of the detailed settings are set to ultra all of them. Um, I have reduced a bit the special effects to shadows. I also have reduced the soft particles and I heavily reduced the street reflections and the both reflection settings. You will notice it if you really concentrate on uh, a wet small areas where it's really red and you also have some light uh, then you actually see wonderful reflection on there. But it's really, really, really taxing. So what we also set up is the visible cars. I've set that down to 15. It actually helps the CPU uh, to gain some more headroom, uh, which I need at the end of the day also for streaming in parallel so that um, my computer, my GPU, CPU uh, also are able to keep up uh, a stream. And the last thing I've checked is um, uh, the world scaling. It's uh, set to 1.1 factor, which gives the most natural inside feeling because uh, the cockpit is not so big. Yeah, so 1.0 seems to be, for me, a little bit too big. Going beyond bow makes uh, one makes it super massive, about 1.1 seems to be a good sweet spot now let's check some racing in dry conditions so this is it we are now in lima ultimate in dry conditions it's a wonderful day in spa we are hovering with the full grid at 80 frames per second uh, you see i still have a bit of headroom on my cpu uh, you also can imagine that I'm currently recording. It takes some resources from my computer. I try to simulate how it works with the stream because as a streamer, at the end of the day, you want to have a fluent um, a streaming experience. Uh, you see it works wonderful. There is uh, no stuttering, uh, all works well. It looks pretty decent. Um, for sure, what you also can perceive here is that there are not so much details now on the grass, etc. that we potentially uh, see as 
uh, nicer visual details when you're looking on, for instance, AMS2. But overall, looking on it, it, uh, it, it looks super crisp and it runs really, really good. What you also can see here now is that I don't have a virtual mirror. Still there. And I just run with the cockpit mirrors that are naturally in the car. Um, this is due to the settings we made in the uh, JSON, as well as I've reduced the distance uh, of the mirrors. Uh, as you can see, the impact of that setting is visually close to none, but it gives us some performance boost and it helps us maintaining that 80 frames in every condition. I hope you liked the video. Leave me a follow and a like and see you soon. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear the car left. Clear left, on your left. Still there. Still there, clear left.